हेलो ऑल टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग लाइक व्हाट इज ए एफ सी एंड व्हाट इज ए एम एच एंड व्हाट इफ द डिस्पैरिटी कम्स बिटवीन ए एफ सी एंड ए एम एच द वॉट टू बी डन विच शुड बी मोर फॉलोड ए एफ सी और ए एम एच सो दैट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग टूडे फर्स्टली वॉट इज ए एफ सी इंट्रल फॉलिकल काउंट इंट्रल फॉलिकल काउंट इज ऑल द फॉलिकल्स विच आर टू टू नाइन एम एम दे आर दे आर कंसिडर्ड इन दैट ए एफ सी इंट्रल फॉलिकल काउंट एंड वॉट इज ए एम एच इट इज समथिंग विच इज इट इज अ बेसिकली अ ग्लाइको प्रोटीन इट इज अ ग्लाइको प्रोटीन अ डायमेरिक ग्लाइको प्रोटीन विच इज अ मेम्बर ऑफ टी जी एफ बीटा सुपर फैमिली एंड इट इज प्रोड्यूसड बाई प्री एंट्रल एंड इंट्रल फॉलिकल ओके सो ए एम एच इज प्रोड्यूस बाई प्री एंट्रल एंड इंट्रल फॉलिकल बट इन ए एफ सी वी इंक्लूड ओनली इंट्रल फॉलिकल्स नॉट प्री एंट्रल फॉलिकल ओनली इंट्रल फॉलिकल ए एफ सी इज इंट्रल फॉलिकुलर काउंट but there are some advantages of amh over afc so what are those firstly amh will have very little minimal cyclic variation so the cyclic variation is very less with the amh so you can take it during any phase of the menstrual cycle but afc we have to we have to do the afc count only during the especially when we call patient on day 2 day 3 so that time we have to do the afc inter follicular count because after that the inter follicles start getting recruited and the follicles start becoming dominant so the inter follicles do not remain inter follicles anymore so that's why we cannot do inter follicle count any time during the cycle but amh is something which we can do any time during the cycle so any time during the cycle we can do because it is released by only inter follicles and pre inter follicles once those inter follicles become recruited the amh is not getting released from them okay so only inter follicle and pre inter follicles will be one which will be releasing the amh so that's why we can do it any time during the cycle so that is one advantage of amh over afc second advantage is it is less inter and intra cycle variability so sometimes we will be seeing like uh, in one cycle there were uh, like in a patient especially with the decrease of ovarian reserves we will be seeing like sometimes there were five follicles but in another cycle there are only three follicles so it becomes like the cycle intra cycle variability becomes very high okay but with amh it is not like that so one amh value is valid over one year of period so that's why we need need not to check it again and again so that is one of the more most uh, good advantage of amh we need not to do it again and again unlike afc and third is it is not observer dependent obviously amh is something which is an operator dependent thing a person who is doing ultrasound will be telling afc how many afc are there inter follicular count is there but amh is not operator dependent because it is some blood test you are taking and the value which is uh, coming out it is not some uh, operate operator which is uh, doing that it is a machine based thing okay so the inter uh, observer dependence all these things are not there with it so these are the advantage of amh over afc now the point comes which is better amh is better or afc is better when the disparity comes if a patient with decrease ovarian reserves is there for example the afc is only uh, suppose there are only 3 intral follicle count but amh comes out to be 1 then what is there which you will decide the stimulation protocol you will be based on what afc or amh now here comes the question so we can uh, get through that question seeing this image here you can see this is the primordial follicle these are all uh, uh, the follicular genesis this is the follicular genesis i hope you have read this so this is the primordial follicle and this is the primary follicle then primary follicle is getting developed into secondary follicle this phase is gonadotropin independent phase okay then comes the gonadotropin responsive phase what is gonadotropin responsive and independent and what is dependent independent means here the gonadotropins cannot do anything okay if you give outside from outside gonadotropins they will they cannot do anything over they cannot recruit these follicles gonadotropin responsive phase means in these follicles the fsh receptors are coming okay in these they are the fsh receptors are coming over the over the granulosa cells but still these follicles are the follicles which we cannot recruit which cannot be recruited by gonadotropins you are good giving fsh the fsh cannot recruit these follicles but these are the follicles which are releasing amh 
okay preentral and early enteral follicles but they are releasing amh but gonadotropin cannot rescue these follicles okay so amh will be released but still the gonadotropin cannot rescue these follicles it is only once the follicle become enteral follicle that the gonadotropin can rescue the follicle and these follicles can enter into folliculogenesis okay although the enteral follicle will also be releasing amh and preenteral follicle will also be releasing amh but what is the difference between preenteral and early enteral and enteral follicle that enteral follicle can be recruited but these follicles cannot be recruited for stimulation so which is which becomes more important amh or afc obviously the enteral follicles become more important because these can these are the follicles which can be recruited for stimulation so that's why whenever there is disparity between amh and afc we will take enteral follicles as a measure of to decide whether we should go with what dose we should decide with the enteral follicles not with the amh okay so again i'll speak because preenteral follicles and early enteral follicles they are also releasing amh enteral follicle is also releasing amh so amh might be shown higher but actual follicle which is responsible for recruitment is only enteral follicle and that's why the enteral follicle is something which should be considered whenever the disparity is seen between afc and amh i hope this is this becomes clear now because this is always a question among the students like what should be done when there is disparity afc should be taken or amh should be taken so i hope i could make this clear thank you